Hi and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure SSL in MuleSoft for your local server and Cloud Hub. Before we move on, let me introduce myself. I am Mohammad Akif and working as MuleSoft developer since last few years on different projects. You should know the basic understanding of SSL. You should have basics of MuleSoft and any point platform and you should know how to deploy MuleSoft applications on Cloud Hub. So before we move on, you should know these prerequisites to follow the tutorial. In this video, we will cover how to generate a self-signed SSL certificate using XSA, how to configure SSL certificate for your local server, and how to configure SSL certificate for Cloud Hub. In the end, we will see demo how things work together. So let's move on and follow the first step where we will generate a self-signed SSL certificate. So let's move on to your browser and open this link for downloading X certificate and key management software. You can download according to your system requirements. Once this is downloaded, you can open this software and follow along with me. So first, we would need to create an empty database from here in file menu, click new database and you can name your database whatever you want and wherever you want to store so i have already created a database with name my database and save it in this directory and then move on to certificate tab where you can click new certificate and there are different tabs which you can follow and we will configure the certificate here for source we will let this create a self-signed certificate as it is because we will be creating a self-signed certificate and signature algorithm we have different options to select but we will use sha256 and then we have template for new certificate where we can select tls server because we will be working on HTTPS, which will be our applica application, will be deployed and we will run as HTTPS request. Right? Let's move on to subject tab, and here you can write uh, different fields. You can fill these fields with whatever information you would like to give. Like for internal M, we can give it as local server. We can write country name as US, state or province. We can write as Texas. We can have a locality name. And then we have integration. Right, as organization name. And then we have organization unit name, we have common name, and then email address. You can fill these fields with whatever information you would like to provide and then you can select a private uh, we can just uh, click on generate a new key when you click here you will see the key name which you would like to give so for me i will give local server key and let the key type and key size as it is right and click on create successfully created the RSA private key which is local server key name. okay now let's move on to extension where we can define type as certificate uh, certification authority and then select key identifier as both of them let this uh, validity as it is in time range and just go to subject alternative name and click on edit where you can type Give different information right click it and for uri or for dns or email you can configure whatever you want 
then we have local host for dns you can just add another one the email i can write as info as at integration bytes.com you can fill these fields uh, according to whatever requirements you have or whatever you would like to give the content and type right and if you have uh, ip or ip we can give ip this is the only information that would be uh, visible to your certificate actually dot one right and just click apply right this is done then we have key usage uh, key usage netscape advanced and this is in advanced you can see different information that we gave earlier uh, this is a summary actually and then we have content sorry comments so this is all we are ready to export our certificate let's click on ok right and click export click here and export now here we have option to uh, save our certificate in any directory where we would like to save and just browse the directory i will be saving it in integration bytes and, and, and here i will select a certificate but before we save it here let me show you one more thing that export format that in what format we would like to save our certificate okay so just click here and uh, we will be saving it as pkcs12 like with dot p12 extension okay and now select the directory which i just mentioned earlier and uh, let's move on to the de desired directory uh, here right you can select your own directory wherever you would like to export this certificate i will name it as local server and save it and click ok it will ask me the password that the password which uh, was asked while creating the database uh, which which created earlier and i named it as uh, i will give the password as apct1234 you can repeat the password apct1234 now let's go to the directory and verify if the certificate has been saved or not so this is the certificate that we just saved okay which means that our self-signed certificate is ready to be used in any point studio and cloud hub let's move on to any point studio now and in this second phase we will configure this uh, certificate with our local server so this is the flow that i have created and i will explain you that how we can configure the certificate with local server so first we would need to copy this certificate which we created here in resource folder okay and then we can drag the http listener from mule palette here in mule flow just double click the listener and i have set the path is test and if we see in configuration of http listener so here i have selected protocol as https okay and port i have selected as 4443 which i will show you in config.yml if we go to tls step so we can configure our certificate here the type which is saved as pkcs12 and this is the path of our certificate which is available in resources folder and we can give the alias name as local server and this is the key password that we gave while generating the certificate okay you can test this it should succeed just click ok now go to config.yml and see the port that i mentioned that we have configured the port is 4443 okay let's move on to the browser and see that how we can access the request and what setting we need to make in browser to access the request so in chrome browser or if you have mozilla or any other browser you can go to settings 
and search for SSL Chrome browser. You can see in security tab, we have manage certificates tab where we can import our certificate. And after clicking here, you have trusted root certificate uh, certification authority where you can click import, click next and search for the certificate and that certificate that we created was with p12 extension click here and click open which means that the certificate would be imported in the chrome browser to run our https application just remember that we are using this scenario the self-signed certificate scenario whenever we need to work on some mechanism or some sort of uh, testing purposes for HTTPS so click open I won't click open here because I have already imported the certificate and then uh, okay let's uh, import again uh, let me show you how it works actually click ok open and then click next uh, name the password abct1234 that we created the password for generating the uh, certificate and just click next click next finish uh, okay you are about to create a, uh, install a certificate from certification authority claiming to represent so this is the warning that we are creating the certificate which is self-signed certificate and it is not authorized by any company okay click okay yes import was successful click close and just go here and try to press the API So let's see if the server is currently running or not. Here and four we have okay, okay. So we will select HTTPS. This is loading. Of course, that page isn't working error was because we were following HTTP. Now we have called the API which HTTPS and here we go we can see that hello SSL is visible here which is being sent from mule flow here and see this this is connection is secure certificate is valid because we have imported this certificate so this is how we can configure the certificate uh, self signed certificate for local server and let's move on and just see how we can deploy this application to cloud hub and we can see that how cloud hub works with https exactly the same way we did for local server so let's move on and deploy this application to cloud hub and see how ssl works with that so right click on the project and uh, go to any point platform select deploy to cloud hub once you click deploy to cloud hub you should see a pop-up appearing in any point studio which should so show you the deployment configuration so it is loading currently and here we see the environment you can select a sandbox and for application name we can give any name for me i have given as ssl with mule 4 and the runtime manager we are using 4.2.2 it could be any like you can select from here and then worker size or any other properties if you like to configure and then hit deploy application button from here i have already deployed this application so i will directly go to the browser and show you this application running on mules of any point platform environment but you should deploy this application and it should start deployment to any point platform for saving the time i have already deployed okay, let's go to any point platform and here from the side menu you can select runtime manager
and within runtime manager you can see this application that was deployed from endpoint studio just click here and copy this domain and we will see the ssl configured and running with any point platform uh, environment or like the cloud hub as well and uh, just replace this local host with that okay. click enter so this says that uh, there is no endpoint listener uh, no listener for endpoint of course we will need to remove this port because we have deployed this application to cloud hub and it will manage itself just click hit enter it is loading and it should show hello ssl and here we see now you see that we don't need to do anything extra for SSL configuration to Cloud Hub environment. And see, this says connection is secure, but certificate valid. This is how the configuration works with SSL. We have seen the local server with SSL, also Cloud Hub with SSL in this video. So this brings end of video session. If you like the video, Please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos. You can also leave comments to have a video that you would like to see in future. Until then, stay tuned.